All right, welcome back, folks. Now we're going to do another standard kind of beginning recursion problem. This is the first time we're going to see a problem in which you actually have two different calls to our cells. We saw before we did my down up and we did factorial. Both of those we call linear recursion because I only have one call to myself. This is the first time we're actually going to see it where I have two calls to myself. Take a look. So Fibonacci is a classic computer science problem, it's a classic mathematics problem, in which Fibonacci was a mathematician and he came up with the idea that what if you, he wanted to figure out how, and there's a, we're going to show a movie, we're going to show a movie to you all later, um, he wanted to see the rate of growth of rabbits. So he came in, he looked at it, and he realized that, wait, rabbits kind of grow in this interesting way that if you have uh, the number of rabbits on a certain day, that's how that's what this is basically measuring, okay? So on day zero, you've got zero. On day one, you've got one rabbit. After that, on day n, you have however many you had yesterday and however many you had two days ago. If you add those together, that's how many you have on day n. Okay, that makes sense? That's a recursive definition, again, inductive definition, in which if you see on the right, you see f of n equals 0 if it's 0, 1 if it's 1. Otherwise, it's f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. How many, or however many you had yesterday, however many you had two days ago, add those together. And if you see the sequence, it's a beautiful sequence. The sequence is 0, 1, and now it's like 0, 1, okay? 0 plus 1 is 1, so that's now 1. So the third number in this sequence is 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2, uh, sorry, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. It keeps going, right? So there's this beautiful, pretty pattern that goes up, and it grows very fast, okay? So the code, remember, again, this is another problem handed to you with an inductive definition. You should be thinking recursive answer for that, recursive code for that, and there it is. Here's your recursive code. It looks exactly like you'd imagine. Fib of n, if n's less than 2, it's just n. Otherwise, it's fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2. And this is a different kind of thing. We're not actually having you go to the same kind of problem you had in factorial. This is different. Now that you have two guys there, it's a lot more complicated to see how that runs. So rather than try to act out the contractor model, I'm going to show you actually what happens in pictures. So check this out. Look at this. This is who gets called? And look at this tree of calls. n equals 5 gets called. And it's, I can't even say it as fast as this is going to animate, OK? 5 calls 4, calls 3, calls 2, calls 1. And 2 calls 1 and 0. Then now 2 returns to 3, who calls 1. Who returns to 4, who calls 2, which again calls 1 and then 0, which goes back to 5. And now 5 has half the answer. Then it goes down the right side of the tree to call 3, which calls 2 and 1. You're like, wait, aren't there multiple n equals 3s in here? Yes, there are. And you might ask yourself, is this as efficient as it could be? Okay. You have, it seems like you have a lot of duplication of work here, right? I mean, you have 2n equals 3. You already kind of had the answer at equals 3. But now you're going to call it again, as if you forgot completely what that was. And as you keep going, if you, let's say, did 100, let, oh my gosh, Fibonacci of 100 is going to call 99 which takes a long time, and 98, which takes a long time, right? Now wait, what did 98 9 do? Called 98. Wait, but you had 98 over here. But know what? It doesn't know that. In the base code, it doesn't know that. So it does 298s, and 497s. Here's a hint. And 896s, and 1695s. You see how it's kind of growing with this path? How many threes are there? Two threes. How many twos are there? There are now three twos. How many ones are there? Five ones. I mean, this grows really fast. It happens that there's some base case things, which means it's not perfect. What you're not seeing is not a perfect power of two. But it ends up growing really fast. 